So we're here to talk about how your daily life has been negatively impacted by superheroes. Tell us about that. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard living up to the Clark Kent expectations that they have around the office. They're unrealistic. You gotta get all your reports in faster than a speeding bullet. We can't all be man of steel. We can't even wear glasses around the office. But look at that guy! Is, is he trying to look like Clark? Be cool? He doesn't even need glasses. Yeah, fuck that guy. So I heard a hero has made it especially hard on you two. How do you even call that a hero? That web-slinging son of a bitch is the reason my son is dead. He made him believe in him. He made, that was the problem. He believed, he believed he was actually a superhero. My sweet Drew, my uh, baby boy. He wasn't those, a baby, he was 24. All those hours spent in his room. See, a slinging webs, that's what he called it, slinging webs. I thought it was a metaphor. It wasn't a metaphor. How would you feel if no one took your job seriously? You know, I go home, my kids, they don't look at me like a hero anymore. My wife, she's just pretending. He didn't have the physical acumen where he could even walk up the stairs to his room half the time. And then he wanted to be a superhero. You were too hard on him. You were always so hard on him. You coddled him. The reason he's dead is because you supported him in his dreams. <laughs> and you had just said, no, what are you, stupid? Of course you're not a superhero. Look at you. Hey, hey, my superpower is I can mold into the shape of a bathtub when I lay in it. No. Uh, my superpower is I can finish two servings at the old country buffet. My my superhero power is that I I I can I can make my father's <laughs> dreams disappear. Every time a killer chops a lady's neck off, you know, I used to be me. I used to be the guy there, you know, the big shot. I'm just another asshole grabbing his dick, going like, wow, there's a dude in a, in a bat outfit, and he's up so amazing. Is that fucking amazing? It's fucking my wife, Batman. Hmm? Why don't you tell me that shit? Who's sleeping with my wife, Batman? He was okay. our boy. He was your boy. He, uh, you know what, I gotta be honest. Uh, I, this frees up a lot of time now. When the flash came by, you know? Um, I mean, I didn't really get to see him, because it's the Flash, but it was pretty fast. You know, uh, really it's just that uh, she gives us a bad name. I mean, who robs a jewelry store in a cat suit? <laughs> Someone's trying too hard. And then it comes whizzing past, it's like, whoom, you know? I lost my balance and I fell into the pool you know, in the middle of January. My friend had to get me out because I, I don't, I mean it was four foot deep but that's, that doesn't matter, I still can't swim. Tight skin suit, cat ears, and a whip. I mean, you're trying to whip the jewels to you. This is not some Indiana Jones bullshit. I've been burgling for eight years so I know exactly right. what goes on. Go. What the fuck yeah, is this? You said now. this was an interview. Oh, I'll have to talk to my lawyer about this. Okay. Aquaman, I think that guy's amazing. He's not a real superhero. We're talking about real heroes here. How could you say that Aquaman is a superhero? Like, like he swims fast through water, he can communicate with fish. Um, some flounder fish, some swordfish, some sharks. He's got a trident. Like, I'm sure you can... It's pointy. You don't think Aquaman's a real hero? Alright, you know what? You're just gonna... You're just gonna... You know what? If Aquaman was here, that trident would do something very bad in that chair.